Uh, hello everyone, I'm Shen Mansell, and tonight I'm going to be interviewing Bruce Donaldson. Hi Bruce. Hey Shen, how are you? Not too bad. Thanks yeah. for coming along to your house where I'm interviewing you. It's alright. Bruce is the club president of, our, of the Toastmasters club that I'm a member of, Oakland's Toastmasters. And tonight I'm going to be talking to him about his experience being the club president. So Bruce, when did you, what, what made you decide to run for president or to be the president, to volunteer? Well, I didn't run for the presidency, unfortunately, so I didn't win a great campaign, but what I did get is asked one night, would you like to be the president? And I was a little bit taken aback because I'm not normally one to want to be out in the, in the limelight, but I thought, okay. I'll give it a go, it'll be a challenge, that's for sure. Definitely something that'll get me out of my comfort zone. So I said, yes, if you want to elect me or select me, I'm available. So that's that's how it came about, and yeah. You didn't run for president, you just didn't run away fast enough. No, that's correct, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you've, you've been president for about seven months now. How? What are the what are the things that have surprised you about the role? What surprised me about the role? Probably the most is you do get a level of enjoyment where you see people develop and grow in what they're doing. That's quite rewarding. And. Getting people to actually participate is probably the challenge, but it's surprising who does put their hand up. It's not always who you think will put their hand up, so that's that's probably the biggest surprise. Okay. You talk about uh, seeing people develop and grow. Do you think that acting as the president has helped you grow? Definitely. No, no doubt about it. Um, like I said, is I'm generally, a, by nature, I'm an introvert. So getting up and being the leader, when you really have to be the leader, like it all comes back to me, so to speak. Admittedly, you've got good people that are helping out, but it's still you definitely have a sense of responsibility about making the club work, and that definitely sits on your shoulders. Yeah. Do you find, uh, you're talking about it coming down to you, do you find that's more in the in the meetings or in the committee meetings? I feel it doesn't come down to me because I've got a good team of people but there's a sense that it comes down to me like when I took on the role of president I definitely had a good think about it because you were the, the head person and that's part of the role is to be the head person and not that I necessarily run around picking up the pieces or picking up the gaps you're just keeping your eye across everyone to see what's going on and so there's more a sense that it comes down to me and I do have a sense of responsibility that as, as the president or the front man I do want to see the club do well. <laughs> so yeah, there is a sense of responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a manager in your work life. Yes. Have you found that there's been much of a, a transfer of skills, either from your work to Toastmasters or from Toastmasters to your work? Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was probably quite timely to have a. a go at being president of the, the Toastmasters Club and then that happened say three months or so before I got I call it a promotion at work and absolutely there's big parallels, big correlations between what you do in, in fronting a Toastmasters Club and you get good tools given to you by Toastmasters about how, how to actually be the president. So I've found those things to transfer across over to the work life, which is just be humble, have a vision, 
communicate early. Yeah, it's it's basics really, and don't get ahead of yourself. Just keep it real and be there, and just get on with it. In in terms of the workload of being president, uh, is is there a lot of stuff that you do behind the scenes? <laughs> no, no, I do very little behind the scenes. Uh, there, there's look, there is definitely a wee bit. Um, I don't think the workload's super, super strenuous. You need to be prepared for meetings. You've got to set the agenda and know what you want to, to say. This is at committee meetings, so you're setting the scene there. Each week, there's a little bit of preparation going into the president's notices, making sure that you're commending the members for, for achieving things. That's, that's very important that people get encouraged and acknowledged for what they do. So you've got to keep tabs, but I have a very good VP education. <laughs> he, he's, he's very helpful. So, and there's a bit of communication that goes on in and around the committee, and then some communication that goes out to the, the club members. But I, I try not to bombard people with email, so I try to keep my communication to the meetings and, and face to face. But yeah, there's a bit there. And then of course at committee meetings, you put your hand up. Again, you ask about the sense of responsibility. At times you do need to lead by example. And um, you don't want to be taking on everything that comes at you, as that's, that's not part of the game either. But yeah, you've got, definitely got to do your fair share and lead by example. Yeah. As as the VP of Education, I found that uh, especially when when someone pulls out for a speech or a role, I try to get someone else to put their hand up to take over that role. But there's always the idea in the back of my mind, like, oh, maybe I should fill it in if no one else yeah. steps forward. Yeah. And then the conflicting idea of maybe, you know, maybe I'm abusing my VP of Education role to give myself too many of the plum plum spots because I like doing all the different different bits. Yeah. yeah so, you, so you asked me, um, before I just answered, is there a lot of work behind the scenes? And I was saying, there's a bit, but it's not, it's not overburdening. And it's, it's about leading and guiding versus, oh, I'll do all the work. And in essence, Toastmasters Club has set up like a, a mini management structure. You've got the president, VP Education, who administers the, the training curriculum, VP Membership, VP PR, and then you've got a secretary and a, and a financial officer. So they are three, de sorry, not three, but they're about your five departments and ultimately, even for meetings, I forward the agenda on to the secretary and the secretary puts it out to the rest of the committee. So, But it's a good little game and our club's a small club, but if we had a, a larger membership of say 40 and you had active members that each of those departments would develop their own little projects underneath there and, and it would be quite quite interesting to see it all running and you, as the president you just touch on each of the things which is what I do at work. If you had uh, a chance to give a few words of advice to anyone who was thinking about running for president of our club or, or their club, people watching on the, on the internet, what would you say to them to encourage them? Give it a go. It's, it's a challenge. And you'll challenge yourself, and it's also about challenging the people around you. And in terms of Toastmasters, to me, the big thing about Toastmasters is not what you can get from Toastmasters, but what you can give back to it. And I know for myself that I gained a lot from Toastmasters, and it is exciting that as a president of a Toastmasters club, you're there to help people who come in who may have a fear of public speaking and in behind that some of that's to do with their confidence and 
you get to watch them blossom and grow. So on a personal level, very, very rewarding. And when it's all, you're the, the, the head charang, it, puts, it, makes it makes it a bit more exciting. Yeah, so give it a go. It's a challenge, but it's also very rewarding. Um, you'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot about people. And again, it's, if you're wanting to develop yourself as a leader, I think, big opportunity. Good answer and a, a nice reference there to another president, JFK. Okay. That's <laughs> not what Toastmasters can do for you, but what you can do for Toastmasters. That's the one. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Bruce. It's been yeah. good talking to you. Good idea. Thanks, Steve.